This video illustrates the gas jet streams that occur through trocars during laparoscopic surgery. The stream due to opening taps to vent smoke is well understood, but what may be harder to appreciate is the gas leakage that occurs with instrument insertion and removal. Within each instrument exchange, a carbon dioxide jet is released that is capable of carrying droplets and particles into the operating room atmosphere with contamination of both the air and environment. This is particularly relevant during the COVID-19 pandemic, where there is concern that such aerosol generation may infect the entire operating room team. It is of course uncertain whether COVID-19 can be transmitted in this way, but viral particles have now been identified in the blood, stool and peritoneal fluid. Gas and particles released from the peritoneal cavity may persist as vapour, a cloud suspension of invisible particles. To set up this demonstration, we used a high fidelity pneumoperitoneum model with carbon dioxide insufflation to a pressure of 12 millimetres of mercury. A specific laparoscopic nebulizer from Aerogen was used to humidify the intra-abdominal gas. This makes gas leaks visible by shining a light across the direction of gas flow. Gas leaks through instrument ports are common and even have a characteristic sound familiar to surgeons performing laparoscopic surgery. Gas can also leak at the point of trocar insertion through the abdominal wall, as can be seen here. Aside from potential pathogens, such gas leaks can also carry pollutants, including smoke and its byproducts, into the operating room atmosphere. This can confer risk similar to passive smoking to the healthcare team. This video intends to support the guidance by professional bodies regarding mindfulness and care in the management of smoke during laparoscopic surgery and also illustrate other means of how aerosols from laparoscopy can contaminate the operating room reinforcing the need for effective personal protective equipment throughout the pandemic.